Hello, good evening. It is um, time for prayers from the attic. Compline service number 13. Um, I think it's, uh, what's today? It's Monday, March 30th. And the clock outside looks like it's a little fast, but it's really only 8.30. Okay, hi, it's Ollie. I'll be your, um, I'll be leading the service tonight just to give Max a little bit of a break. Um, thank you for being with us. Thank you for being faithful and, and being with us. And I'm gonna just have um, Max put this on our new tripod. Okay, thanks, Olive. Welcome, everyone. Let me see how this goes. If we can do this without hanging up, we'll be in business. Okay. Welcome. Can people hear us from out on TV land? We have new conference calling, so if people, um, I'll say later to you, people can tell, we'll see how it works, but I think it's going to be improved. So I just, I um, have my Rehoboth Beach, Delaware sweatshirt on. I'm just giving a shout out to our friends down in Delaware and RV. Um, I, have, I have a book of common prayer. Um, the order for Compline is on page 127. And the service begins now. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what, what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Let me do this one, I guess the priest, I guess. May the mighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. We will say um, Psalm 4 responsively. I'll start, and you can respond after the asterisk. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord God does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices. And put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart. More than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son, Son and to and the to Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. For tonight's reading, I chose 
A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 6 through 10a. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, a rich fill, food filled with marrow, a well-aged wine strained clear. And God will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. God will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The disgrace of God's people he'll take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Well, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, when Ollie and I moved to Arizona, right out of seminary, that was in 1996, we were called the St. Philip's in the Hills, then one of the largest church, I'm sure it still is, one of the largest congregations um, in America, in the Episcopal Church, 2,000 people there over the course of Sunday. But we had, in between services, we had different seminars and forums, speakers, um, the rector, he, he said it, it should be like going to Disneyland where every time you go you see something new. We haven't been there once, so we've got a lot, a lot of new things to see there. <laughs> and um, so we had six different offerings, some Bible study, even you know art history, all kinds of things. But one of the most popular ones were Im paintings and images of heaven, of of, the, of our next life. Um, and uh, hundreds of people came out for that presentation. It was a wonderful slideshow, and you could think yourself of some of the classic images you've, over the centuries, images of heaven. And so, I think so often, you know, I grew up. Um, we had coloring books that had. God in the clouds, kind of, you look like a grandfather type with the clouds or his beard even in the coloring book. You know, in French I had it, just mon, mon Dieu. Remember that vividly, that coloring book. And so I always, I, that was my early visions of heaven where these cloud kind of, would kind of go off into the clouds, almost like the Feast of the Ascension depicted as Jesus floating up. But then over the years, maybe because of my, my food focus, I love that we're, you know, we're people that celebrate Eucharist when we end this fast now during our home confinement. Um, we'll rejoice again to celebrate the Eucharist together in all different locations. And um, so now my, my vision of heaven is more of this image from the prophet Isaiah, that feast on the mountaintop. Now, we don't have any mountains here in Nantucket. I think maybe the landfill is probably the closest we had, the highest elevation on the island, maybe not. There's one place called Alter Rock that's maybe the highest place above sea level that's natural. Um, and so we have to first envision the mountains, but on that mountaintop, right, where God wipes away our tears, and it says that shroud is lifted from our eyes, right? It's the sheet spread over, over all nations. It's the, sh the cloth they put on us, the, the funeral pall they put on us at, at our burial. Um, and so that we go through life with that fear, you know, with, with a shroud over our eyes, of you know, the fear of the unknown, the fear of death, very real fear. And that we have, throughout our lifetime, where you wouldn't even be participating in your faith journey, that shroud is pulled back and we have glimpses of God's presence, right, more fully, that light shines through. We have glimpses. And then I, tr I trust, I know, my faith tells me in the next life, that shroud is pulled back more fully and we're able to see God face to face like, like Moses on the mountaintop. The prophet, it says we, not, not to encourage you, because we have a lot of friends in recovery, it says we use the wines that are strained clear, wines from the cellar that need to be decanted, you know, the precious wines that you save uh, for special family occasions. And so I love having images, of, this is a, we had this reading at my, my dad's funeral at many, of my dear loved ones over the years at their memorial services because I love handing them over to God for that at that feast and that 
we'll join them when our time comes. There's certainly this place for, set for us at that table when our time comes. No time soon. And then today, so I love this prophet Isaiah image, right? Um, and again, we can be assured of God's loving presence, assured of God, God's deliverance. So look what I, today, I, uh, my friend Dave came over. He's a great wood, wood worker. And he brought me a chalice. Look at this. It's um, um, made out of, I'll have to post it. I don't know how people, people can't see it on the phone. So I'll just tell you, it's, um, he has a lathe. And he, he took a beautiful big piece of oak. And he made... You know, kind of a medium-sized chalice. It would be certainly a good chalice for a, a small gathering for a Eucharist. Um, and I said, David, you know, can I can liquid stand in it? And he said, Oh yes, it's some kind of the way he he carved it and he oiled it. It's really sweet, isn't it's it? Isn't that precious, yeah. It's beautiful. It's so kind of him to to think of me that way. And uh, yeah, even wow. signed it on the bottom. Yeah, it sure did. Which is awesome. Yes, in the year, yeah, 20. Huh. Yeah, so now he said, of course I have to make your patent to go with it. And it has to be big enough to put bread on, so uh, not just a couple of hosts. So that's his next project. He's going to make a beautiful, yeah, I think he said, actually I think he said it was maple. Isn't it a beautiful texture? You can see the, not precious. God is good, right, all the time, all the time. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, now it's time to sing a hymn. Oh. And we're using tonight, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Yes, our alternative hymn to of church, a lot of beautiful African-American hymns and classic hymns in here. Okay. Okay, okay we'll see how we... <clears throat> Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Tenderly, Jesus. 
Jesus is calling, calling, O sinner, come home. Oh, for the wonderful love he has promised, promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon. <laughs> pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home. Ye that are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O oh sinner, come home. Oh, that third 30. verse was a little down. The third verse a little bit down. Sorry about that. It's pretty mm. strong, huh? Pretty uh, strong. Calling us home to rest, not to die. Yes. All right, um, continuing with the service on page 132. Middle of the page. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. You redeem me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Here's one other collect, which is for doctors, a prayer for doctors and nurses. Sanctify, O our, our Lord, those whom you have called to the study and practice of the arts of healing and to the prevention of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving spirit, that by their ministries, the health of the community may be promoted and your creation glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, now I think it's time for the prayers of intercession. Oh, tonight we pray. We ask your prayers for Daryl and Joe of Rehoboth Beach. Mm. Yes, please, Lord. Please, Lord. Daryl is sick, and um, he's a one of the great, great person, lovely, kind person, and one of the restaurateurs of Rehoboth Beach. Please keep Daryl and his partner Joe in your prayers. We pray for Fran McKendry. Great musician. Um, we pray for Cat and Carol for Father Will's continued healing, for Josie, Melissa, and Ellie, 
for Les Slate on Block Island, mm. for Diane and Kathy C, for Sherry for her continued healing, Paul, Normand, Scott, Tom, for Brown who's doing better, and Joseph, for Cheryl, Christine, for Pat and Janet, Skyler, Deb, Bruce, uh, Dr. Blair and Missy, for Rascal, Christina and Kelly, for Tom and Mary Ann, Julie and Andrew and family. We pray for those serving in our armed forces and their families, um, for our nephew Justin, for Lucas in flight school in the Air Force, for Trevor, for Calic, for Turner, in the reserve for our friend Jeff and his work with returning troops. And now deployed with the Army Reserve. He's just, he's just been deployed. Um, Roberto and Aaron, for Adam, for Gary, uh, the president of our hospital, Libby, Dr. Faith Frabel, and the Nantucket Cottage Hospital staff and volunteers. Dr. Pearl and Dr. King also, Dr. O'Connor. Dr. Devella. Dr. Katie Black at Mass General Hospital. Dr. Elise and Dr. Emily uh, Rett, who are in their residencies in New York City. We pray for uh, Julie and all the supermarket workers and Matt Mitchell um, as they work tirelessly to provide food for us. Any, anyone else? I pray for my family, my sister, Gail, her husband, Henry, my brothers, Bruce and Brian, and their spouses, Pepsi and Tony, and all of um, my St. Paul's family and friends. My mother, Jackie. And then, um, yep, okay, I think we're good. Okay. Thanks, Ollie. Again, send your prayers in. We'll continue to, to add them to our list. Guide us waking, O oh Lord and guide us sleeping. That awake, awake we may watch, watch with Christ, Christ and, and asleep we may rest in peace. peace. Lord, Lord, you now have, have set your servant free to go, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Oh, man, everyone. So join us tomorrow. We're going to celebrate tomorrow. It's a, um, our church recognizes John Donne, that wonderful uh, English poet and priest. Uh, and so we'll have, so he's famous for um, all kinds of things. So we'll have a little bit of his poetry tomorrow for the reading worth, worth celebrating. And what else? Again, it's my day off today, so it was nice for Ollie to lead. And next Monday, we're going to have music, um, music Compline too, which we'll join with online, but Joe's going to broadcast it from the organ bench. What else, Ali? We have Bible study at 11.30, and we have a new conference calling machine if people want to call in, too, and add comments. Well, it's the old conference calling machine, but we drag it over from, <laughs> drag it over from the parish house. <laughs> what else, Olive? I think... Uh, uh. So sorry. Oh, be well. Yeah, get sorry for the sad verse for the last one. It was a classic hymn, but <laughs> I think we'll look at the at the lyrics more closely. Oh. And so we continue to keep our friends in Nashville in our prayers too, because they're re recovering from a tornado, and then they have to stay home now with what's left of their homes and uh, and locked down like we are. So we we especially oh, remember our dear friend Adam oh, Dread down there and all yeah. his generous work with charities and his. Uh, He's a dear prisoner of ours uh, when he's here on the island. And I think that's it, Olive. Okay. We love you. 
Sweet dreams, Sweet okay? Sweet dreams, yeah, everybody. Peace, peace. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. And on the, on the